This is GabNet, the Great American Broadcast Network, now in its eighth year of talk like you've never heard it before. Hey everybody, I'm Alex and this is The Ramble and we go until midnight tonight from New York, New York. Wow, that's Steve Kravitz folks and look at him, he's all bundled up. Yeah, it's cold, it snowed the last two days. Wait a minute, you don't have any heat in your house? No, I do. Oh, I see. (laughs) But I'm right by the window. Well, it's been cold down here. Yeah. And our uh, our our super uh, people who own the building don't seem to like turning on the heat much. You know, that's going to cost. Is that right? It's going to cost them money. They'd rather see people die of pneumonia. Right. Yeah. Uh, but I mean, it's it's been at night. It's been pretty cold here. You know, and and uh, they they they're supposed to keep the temperature at a certain level, but quite frankly, I don't think they are. You know, right, so. right, right. So how are you? Oh, I'm okay. You know. Uh, Did you say your clocks and everything? Did you I, deal with leap year? I mean, uh, I dealt with daylight the, savings. Yeah, I dealt with the clocks. They were, you know, so. Right. Where, uh, yeah, the clocks are. Uh, I, you know, something I always hated daylight saving time, because I always felt it was fooling ourselves. Into thinking, How do you mean? Well, because we're fooling ourselves into thinking that it's different than it is. You know what I'm saying? In other words, uh, you're saying, oh, well, oh, boy, we get more light now because we do daylight saving. Well, why don't you just send everybody to work an hour later or an hour earlier or whatever you need to do to adjust to it? Why don't you call it a, 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 a daylight saving uh, uh, compensation or something, but don't. Don't, oh, don't 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 change the clocks all year. Well, the 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 Get reason rid of it. The, the reason the clock is like it is is because it is in reference to our traveling around the sun. And so we change that as a, just kind of a thing for us. Oh yeah, well we get more light in the evening. Well, you get more light in the evening if they let you uh, like off work early or something like that. You know, just change it. Have a have a schedule for the summer and a schedule for the winter, but you don't have to call it daylight saving time. Now they're saying they're going to do daylight saving time all year long. Right, right. Well, what's that? We've simply told nature, "Fuck you." We don't believe in the solar aspect of time and space and seasons. Well, there are there are states that don't change the time. Yes, there are. There are. There's one, I think one, if I know, is it Arizona? I think it's Arizona, isn't Ari- it? Arizona, yeah. Well, they're they're always an hour behind anyway. So, uh, good night. <laughs> good night, folks. I'll be here all week. No, I mean, you know, it's. Uh, I just think the whole thing about daylight saving time and we're going to do it all year long. What, you're going to fool yourself all year long? You know, no, it, it just will become the norm. Well, years ago, I don't know who eventually originally. I think it was uh, it was the um, Caesar or somebody like that created the calendar, and they created the calendar based on the rotation of the the uh, circling of the Earth around the sun. One circle around the sun is a year. All right. So now you're ch- screwing with all of that because. You want to get up earlier or later or whatever we do? Let's see, we jump ahead, spring ahead. So that means that if it were 7 o'clock, it's now 8 o'clock. So what we're doing is really putting ourselves behind. I can't figure it out. Fuck it. <laughs> I'm, I'm, too old. I'm too old for that, that kind of thinking. I can't think that way. I don't understand it, you know. What have you? I gotta have coffee. I need to wake up. You know, that's the other wake thing. Up. Well, that's the it's other thing. It's one o'clock. It's one o'clock in the I, afternoon. I, I, I know, but it's really, it's really twelve o'clock in the afternoon. Oh God. <laughs> well, think about it. 
You know, you must be you must be a pleasure to travel with and go through time zones. You gonna you gonna tell me, all right, that you don't uh, get all wonky when uh, when uh, daylight saving time starts? Like for a week you're off. Well, this is the week. No, I was off one day. I slept like twelve hours. Hmm. Well, uh, after daylight saving time is compensated for, that was only three hours. So right, you know. No, I just it just and then I gotta go around. I gotta change all the clocks, the ones that aren't like my watch here is of course Apple, so it looks right. there and it changes itself and whatever. But there are always several things you've got that you haven't yet, you know, set. So it's like uh, you you always find the next day. Oh, that clock I didn't for, I forgot to set that clock. The set clock on the right. microwave on the microwave. I forgot to do that. Or the oven, I forgot to do that one. So I mean, it's really a lot of work. Oh, but we. Oh were... God! It's a, what's it? What's it take a second to change the time on a clock? No, some of these clocks you got to. I got to go to the instructions on how to do them. You got to like do this one twice and that one three times, and that'll give you the hour. And then you can change the hour by pushing this one. I mean, it, some of them are pretty complicated. Oddly enough, you know, the stove isn't bad and microwave isn't terrible but there are right. some I have some clocks that are just absolute bears you know Marjorie bought this big huge digital clock that we have right. we have in the bedroom she thought she was getting a small one but then it came and it was huge it's like this okay okay which is fine. like a shoe box it's fine. like I, a shoe box I love getting up in the middle of the night and trying to figure out what time it is and I just look down at this big red light blaring at me all right but that one is really a bear to change because it also has the day and the year oh, okay. it has all the things so so if I set it 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 has to be set and then sometimes it isn't set right and I've got to figure out how to get the day correct oh it's just it's horrible just horrible but I do. Yeah, but you have to you have to get the day correct at the end of every no. month because some months has thirty days, some months have thirty one. There's think, one that has twenty eight days. Well, I think your answer to the question probably uh, it should be uh, that I'm just too old for this shit. You know, I don't need to do all this. Just uh, I I wish I had enough money that I could hire somebody to come in and change all my clocks. Yeah. Oh, Alex, you're not that lazy. Oh, yes, I am. You know, I mean, uh, my the only person I know who's lazier than I am is my wife. Oh, is that right? Uh, uh, Alex, take out the garbage. Well, right. It's just by the door, and you just have to move it into the hallway, right? Right. That's where we leave it. So why do I necessarily have to? Why can't you do it? Well, I, I'm, I'm, I, I have a bad back. That's her excuse. I have a bad back. So, you know, she's she, I, she's kind of lazy that way. She will always have me do things that, you know. Last night I said, you know, somebody should call the super and tell them that the heat is just terrible in here. And she said, okay, you call him. Right. Well, why, well, don't, why don't you call him? You got his number. It's speed dial in your phone, you know. No, you do it. And of course, I'm oh, speaking late. Of, speaking of phones, well, yeah, I'm going to upgrade my Android phone to an Apple phone. Good, good. You'll you'll like it. It's a, it's. I think it's better than the Android phones. I really do. Yeah, but that's all you've ever had. Have you had an Android phone in the past? Oh no, I've, actually, I had a, an Android pad. Uh, just a you know a little pad. You know, like right. an iPad, only it's an Android pad. Right. And I just didn't like the system that much. I didn't think it was that, you know, robust. Plus, let's face it, who invented this whole smartphone thing in the first place? It was Apple. You was know, it Apple? Yeah, it was Apple. You know, there were other people that tried it and failed, but they were the ones that came out with a successful version of it. Man, when I saw right. that first, when I saw that first iPhone... I dreamt about it. I mean, I wanted one of those things. Because what they did is they just figured out a formula for, you know, you had a, you had a camera in there. You had an, I, uh, uh, what do you call it, an iTunes player, you know. 
you had a phone, uh, you had a lot of different elements and you could go online and you could uh, go to websites and it just changed the whole nature of what, what a phone in your pocket is. And I, I like, since they invented it, I'm going to support it, you know? All right. And all these... Now, which iPhone do you have now? I have the uh, iPhone, uh, blah, 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 I don't know, whatever the... Not the latest one. One year off, I think, of the 13, you know, the plus. The yeah, one. the 13 plus? Yeah, you know, the one because I like it with the best camera in it, you know. Uh, well, that's what you're buying. You're buying a good camera and a cheap phone. Listen, I used to go, when I go to Europe, I would carry a big, huge camera with me. Okay? Right. Because I had a three-chip camera. I was very proud of it. Took it to China. But it certainly was a lot to lug around, you know. Right. And um, so, consequently, it, it, using an iPhone now, the quality is so much better. It, you know, some people are saying, why go out and get yourself a, a really good uh, camera for, you know, shooting vacations and stuff when your iPhone can do it all? The quality right. is, is better than almost any, any camera out there. Well, that's what you're paying for. That's why they cost so much. You're paying for a very expensive camera and a cheap phone. Well, the, the phone aspect has been lost on everybody. That's the last thing anybody uses. Right, you know. Right, uh, but the other other problem I think out there is we take way too many pictures. You know, I mean, it, it, think of all the people taking f pictures on their iPhones, they take pictures of their food when they're out eating. Oh God! I hate, I hate people who do that. Right, and then post it, and, and then post it. Of course, here's what we had for dinner. Oh, really? That's nice. But I mean, uh, you know, it was a big deal. Um, and uh, people just take pictures and pictures and pictures and pictures. There are billions upon billions upon billions of pictures out there now. Where before, uh, you only had a couple of pictures, and you had to take them down to your local drugstore to get them developed. Yeah. You know, um, we went from we went from having a a slow camera to a fast mirror. You know, so it's 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 uh, it, it's uh, I so I, but I do like the iPhone. I do think they they still make the best phone. Right. Uh, and I know that people are going to argue. Oh no, uh, G uh, Galaxy, ba 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 ba. You know, Android. Nah, 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 nah. But I really think that for ease of use and for simplicity and for quality of photograph, uh, you can't do better than an iPhone. I mean, those pictures, the pictures you can take with an iPhone are spectacular. Just spectacular. So, yeah, you can, you can shoot a movie with an iPhone. Yeah, so why are, you going, why are you going to the iPhone? Did they offer you a deal? No, not really, but I was just thinking about it. Yeah, well, it's not that bad. You know, you pay a couple, of, a couple extra bucks on your monthly bill, and you don't have to pay for it, you know? Right, right, that's how it works. Mm-hmm. So why not? And my monthly my monthly bill is twenty nine ninety nine for unlimited data, voice and text. Yeah. Mine comes to I think mine is something like a hundred and fifty a month. <clears throat> but I got the biggest phone and you know things like that. Right. So I don't know. And who are you, who are you with? Um, who am I with? Uh, my wife. I'm with her all the time. Good night. Uh, you, know. you know what I mean. No, uh, my, uh, who am I with? Oh, AT&T. Oh, okay. Yeah. And if you, if you get AT&T as a, as a, you were, Promotional. You weren't going to use them, right? No. No. Okay. Because with AT&T, I get HBO Max for free. Is that right? Yeah. Yeah. So, you know. Cuts down on that bill. Yeah, no shit. You know, if you uh, like, I we subscribe to everything because Mar oh, is that right? because Marjorie spends her whole day lying in bed watching movies. Oh, okay. You know, this is what it's come to. Right. And then she says, "You know, we really have to get out." And I went, "Okay, well, I want to go down to such and such a place. You want to come with me?" And she goes, "No, I'm too tired. My back's killing me." So she's always saying, we have to go out. It's beautiful out there. 
And then I go, okay, well, come with me. And uh, I can't go right now. I'm too tired. I, I got out of my main clothes. I'm now back in my uh, in my ho- house clothes here. Right. And I go, okay, well, don't don't nudge me about that I've got to go out and, uh, you know. Right, right. Take, take a walk. I don't go out that much. I, I've lost my ability to walk, actually. No, you haven't. Yes, I have. Do da do da. No, I um um. Well, I have a neuropathy. So do I. Well, that, doesn't that affect your walking? Somewhat, yeah. Yeah. So you know, and wait till you get to be my age. Then your neuropathy will be really fun, you know. Yeah, I bet. I can hardly wait. Yeah. So what else have you been doing? Anything interesting? No. Went to a friend's house for dinner. Yeah. Been working a lot more, which is good. Oh, really? They're working you more at, uh, at uh, where? Which one? You're at home? Lowe's. 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 Yeah, because I'm trying. I know the difference between Lowe's and Home Depot is uh, health insurance or something like that. Something like that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, so how much they're working? How much they working you at Lowe's? I'm getting sixteen hours a week, which is nice. Yeah. Yeah, and what is the hourly pay rate? Uh, fifteen dollars and nine cents. That's that's the national l- l- amount. Right, minimum wage. Minimum wage. Nobody nobody can say, hey, we're going to pay you above minimum. Hey, we're going to pay you twenty bucks. Right, right. No. No minimum wage. Is, they're saying this is the least we got, can pay you by law, and if we could pay you less, we would. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. But I mean, I don't, un- I never understood that. And I, the other thing I don't understand, and this is the thing that's really been bothering me lately, are all these companies that are letting people go. I mean, uh, especially a lot of the uh, technology companies. Right. Uh, 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 what is it? Uh, Sirius XM, who I used to work for, just let go of 8% of their workforce. Is that right? Yeah, because their stock is down. Well, if your stock is down, it's not the fault of that person who's making minimum wage for you, making the 35000 a year for you, right. which is probably the people they're going to get rid of. No, it's the people at the top. Get rid of them. They're right. the ones that cause the problem. Don't, right. don't go after a hard little worker who, you know, works at the, ca- the checkout stand, you know? Right. He, he didn't do anything to screw up your company. Uh, right. And those are always the guys that get rid of. And I think that's just disgusting. Uh, what is it? Uh, Meta, which is uh, Facebook, basically. It's you know. Yeah. What What is this Meta thing? Meta is just as a company, you know. Oh, and it bought Facebook. Yeah. Uh, no. No. It, it, Facebook became Meta. Okay. Oh. And Facebook is one of its products. Oh, okay. You know, so, uh, whatever. So I don't, th- that's that. Anyway, uh, they are let off uh, over the last couple of weeks, over 22,000 people? You know. They've laid off? Yeah. I mean, get rid is of- Is that right? Yeah, get rid of Zuckerberg. Come on, that's the reason the company isn't doing well. Well, yeah, maybe you should sell the company and move on. Yeah, yeah. But I mean, those get rid of the people at the top. If you've got a problem, for instance, it's Sirius XM. Okay, so they got problems with people not subscribing or they're not making enough money. Probably you need to replace the people who are in charge of programming, in charge of the entire company. Right. Don't. Right. You know, if you it, get rid of Howard Stern, what do you need him for now? You know, he helped establish your company years ago, but you know, really, how valuable is he to the company? And you're paying him a hundred thousand million, hundred million dollars a year. Wait a minute, they're paying him how much? A hundred million dollars a year. No way. Yes, way. No way. Way, hundred million dollars a year. And uh, if you take, that's insane. I figured if you take. Their average salary at Sirius is thirty-five thousand dollars a year. Okay. If you take that hundred million, chop it up into how many 
$35,000 that would be. And instead of letting go of 825 people, you could actually add some of a whole bunch of people for the money that right. you're paying Howard Stern. I mean, $35,000, I think I had to come out to something like, what was it, 2,500 people pay his salary. Oh, is that right? Yeah, his, their salary equals his salary. So, I mean, get rid of him. Get rid of the head of the company. Get rid of the head of programming. He's useless over there. Right, You know, right. he's making a lot of money. He's making maybe half a million dollars a year. Get rid of him. Right. You know? I mean, uh, don't get rid of the person who's just doing some little pissant show or a, or a uh, production assistant or a right. producer for a show or whatever. Don't get rid of those people. Those are the bread and butter of your company. Right. Those are the people who came in every day, worked hard so that you could make your half a million dollars a year. Right. Yeah, so. Right. It, it's just, it's just, uh, I, I don't know. I just, and, and it's not just uh, Sirius XM. It's all these companies. They're letting people go. Uh, and they're letting the wrong people go. You know, get rid of the up higher ups. They're the ones right. that fucked up your company. This right. little, the little guy who's doing, you know, as I say at Lowe's, who's doing checkout, right? Uh, it, he 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 has nothing to do with the survival of your company. He's simply doing his little piece of work to make right. the process work. But the person right. at the top is the person who screwed everything up. Right. So don't take it out on the little guy. That's why if I had a company, I'd never let anybody go. You know, I never overhire either. Though some of these companies, they start getting big and they start hiring left and right. You know. Right. Right. Right having more people than they ever need. So they can say, oh, I've got 25,000 people working for my company. Well, don't do that either. But once you hire them, they should have a job for life. That's why the, that's why the Chinese do so well at their companies, is because of right. the loyalty they have towards their employees. Doesn't, that is, isn't Japanese the same thing? Japanese, exactly the same thing. Yeah. You go to work, you go to work for a company, you're there for life. If you if you do your right. job, if you don't screw, if you're not horrible at it, and you don't, right, right, you know, but you've got a job for life. They're loyal. If they have layoffs, the last people to go are the people down at the bottom, not the people at the top. You right, know, not the people at the bottom, rather, but the people at the top. So I mean, that's the way it should be. It's not it's not the little guy's fault. You know? No. No. And yet they will keep those high-paid uh, executives, right? And they'll keep doing their job, and they'll keep screwing up the company just like they've always screwed up the company. Well, kind of that's their job. To screw up the company. <laughs> yeah, but I mean, I, I just, uh, I always wonder why, why uh, you know, why that even happens, why that's even allowed right. for people to just, we should have federal laws against dumping the lower end people get rid of the upper higher ups that those are the ones to go get rid of zuckerberg you know yeah no kidding yeah what's what's he doing he's been fucking up that company for years he's the one that came up with this whole meta idea oh wow that worked you know right so you know wow you just look all bundled up and cozy yeah well the wind is howling here is it really it's howling. Yeah, yeah. And and the snow is like melting. Yeah. So it's really nasty outside. Yeah, the snow is beautiful when it falls, and when right. it's, and when it's first when it first falls and it's lying there on the ground, it's gorgeous. Even if it even if it's high, you know, it's gorgeous. Right. But a couple of days later, it all turns gray and slushy. Right. And then it's well, this stuff. This stuff, Alex. Yesterday was slushy. Oh. It was like shoveling water. Oh, really? Oh, it was that soft snow. No, that the watery snow, heavy yeah. snow, well, the very heavy. I, the thing I love about the watery snow is that it is the flakes are huge. You ever notice right. that? They're uh, beautiful flakes, uh, but uh, you know, eh, what the hell? You know. Uh, you chose to move up there, freeze to death, God damn it. We'll just be down here in New York where we mildly freeze to death. <laughs> yeah. 
Right. Nobody figures. I haven't. I haven't been. Out, I haven't been out. What? How many days? I don't know how many days I haven't been out. I, I just don't. Why? It's cold what, out there. What about groceries? Oh, we order them. We, you order we, them. We, we use Instacart. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, it's, uh, that's all we do for dinner now. But I'll explain that in another program because we're running out of time here. Is that right? Yeah. Why don't you tell them where you're playing? Make up a mythical club. Uncle Funny's <laughs> Chuckle. You're playing Uncle Funny's Chuckle Hut, aren't you? Yeah. 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 That's right. <laughs> <laughs> Laughs galore. Anyway. Yeah. Thank you, Steve. Thank you, Alex. That's Steve Kravitz, ladies and gentlemen. Bye bye. This is GabNet, the Great American Broadcast Network, now in its eighth year of talk like you've never heard it before. Well, hello, everybody. How are you? Another week of broadcasting here at the uh, Great American Broadcast Network. I thought I had my glasses on. Don't don't I look good in glasses? Do I? Do I? I don't know. Anyway. Um, Hmm. Well, let's see. We have one, two people here who I'm going to put on, and one person I don't think I'm going to. Ah, he just left. Okay, all right. So let me uh, let me bring in a couple of these people here. Let me see here. Admit all. Oh, wait a minute. I don't want to admit this guy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Okay, back to my camera. My camera. Oh, there's Adam Salmon. Okay, he's okay. He's okay. All right. Wait a minute. He disappeared. He disappeared. Okay. Oh, no, he didn't. Adam Salmon. Uh, let's uh, let's just uh, let's just get rid of him. Uh, let me see here. Remove. Yes, and remove. Okay, there we go. We have just removed him. Kevin has just come into the into the room here. Here comes Je- here, here, there's Charlie Wallace. There's Jeff Stein. Are you there, Jeff? He's muted and no picture. Wow. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Well, we'll wait for Jeff to make his appearance here. Let me just go to the panel here. I got to remember to do that. There we go. Got to remember to do that because I forget to do it, and then all you see is me for the rest of the show. Uh, here comes Alan and uh, Adam. Forget it, Adam. You're not coming on. You didn't. Uh, you didn't uh, say hello fast, so that's enough for you. And uh, in fact, I'll just remove you and uh, uh, won't report you. There we go. There we go. Okay. How? So how? What happened to Jeff again? We lost him again. Oh, well, geez, Almighty. <laughs> Oh, well, you know, I, I put up with it because Jeff's such a nice guy, and uh, uh, he eventually gets it anyway, you know. Uh, plus, he has an excuse. He had a stroke, and uh, things are, you know, you don't, you don't have exactly the same facility that you have uh, in uh, getting things together. Uh, but anyway, hello to all of you. How, all, all of you, there are three of us here besides hello. me. Yeah. Hmm? What? I Did said hello. hello. Charlie said yep. Oh, yep, yep, yep. Well, nice having you here. Uh, I don't know what to talk about. I have nothing. Well, The Last of Us is done. The Last of Us is done. How'd you like it? Well, I loved it. Yeah. See? And I, and I, I, I am happy about that because you never played the game. No, I didn't. But I did like the way it ended. Well, that's I would have done the same thing he did. That last, that la- any spoilers. I'll just say yeah, that. Yeah, that that last episode, that last episode, uh, that um, uh, you saw, is almost word for word identical to the game. Oh, good. Yeah, I mean that is pretty much. I mean, like the very ending there, where she says to him, "Tell me, blah 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 blah," and he says, "I swear," and she goes, "Okay," right out of the game. Yep. So, you know, you really got a good sense of the story that way, you know. And I, I think it ended brilliantly, and I was very happy yep. with it. And I'm somebody who played the game who should say, ah, oh, it's not as good as the game, you know. <laughs> you know, so, so uh, and it, it uh, was, it was uh, in many ways, it, it 
became its own entity. It did its own thing. There were diff great, a lot of differences, and a lot of things were exactly the same, you know. Um, Michelle Chanel. Do we know Michelle Chanel? I don't. <laughs> no. I seem to remember that name, and the last time I remember that name, there were penises involved with it. <laughs> if I'm if I'm correct. Uh, so Michelle, yeah, Michelle just dropped off as soon as I said yeah. that. Go find another name, okay? <laughs> we're wise to you guys. We're wise to you guys. Hello, Kevin. How are you? Okay. How are you, Alex? I'm doing. I'm doing okay. You know. Uh, so fair. You know. Yeah. Fair. Yeah, you know, we we talked on Saturday night about it, and it's uh, you know it's uh, I I did not go through an easy thing last week, and uh, I shouldn't put it that way because Shecky went through worse, you know, yeah. and and uh, but still that still stuns me. Well, you know what yeah. happens? What happens is when somebody dies, the grief uh, people grieve because they miss them, you know. Uh, but we could say it's not as bad as the person who died, you know, and yet that's not necessarily true because the, the living have to continue with the lack of that person's presence. It's, uh, yeah. you know, so it's it, the anniversary it, of my mom's tomorrow. Oh, is it really? Wow. Yeah. I went to see her today. Yeah. Yeah. The cemetery. Good old coma. Good old coma. Oh, my mother's in coma. Yeah, population. You should, you should have her go visit my mother, although she wouldn't know where to find her because there's no tombstone. But, you know, that's my bad. You know, here's the thing. If you go out to Colma, I think it's, uh, uh, I can't remember the name of the cemetery. Eternity Hills, uh, something. Yeah, up there. Uh, okay. Col Colma, by the way, is, is a city in uh, San Francisco. It is a city within a city. It is actually an incorporated city that has more dead people in it than live people okay it's outside, because it's exactly. because it's nothing but cemeteries right it's outside san francisco it's right outside of san francisco yeah, yeah. Uh, you can't read it but yeah. that's the sign town of coma town of coma yeah. and they actually have a city hall 1678 what they actually have a city hall that looks identical to a tomb have you ever seen the city oh. hall? No. <laughs> oh, <laughs> pretty nasty. Yeah, it looks like I mean, every been. the street mission, and I was leaving, and I think, I don't know, I tried to leave the the cemetery today, and, and all of a sudden, cop, 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 cop. There was probably forty cops, and uh -huh. I don't know, I couldn't even count how many cars were coming in. It was a big old funeral. It must have been San Francisco cop or fire department guy. Mm -hmm. Must have passed and. Their funeral was today when I was trying to leave, and I don't know how many cars, 150, 200, 300 cars, mm. escorts and everything else, and I couldn't leave. <laughs> you couldn't leave, because, and who was, who was being buried? I have no idea. You have no idea. It was just a lot of people, right? Yeah, a lot of cops and a lot of firemen and a lot of people. Wow. Wow. Well, here's Wayne. Hello, Wayne. Hello. How are you? Nice of you to join us. Oh, my pleasure. Um, and and uh, you are again calling us from where? Cleveland. Uh, Cleveland. And uh, how's the weather in Cleveland? It was nice and sunny today. Really? Yeah, real nice and sunny. Really? Because I was talking to my friend uh, Steve Kravitz, and he said that up in uh, up in uh, uh, Massachusetts, they're up to their, as my mother used to call it, pupic and snow. Uh, well, we got about three, two to three inches of snow yeah. a day or two to go but uh it's on its way out right now now it snowed here in new york with absolutely zero accumulation wow. <laughs> you know i don't know it's it, 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 the weather is the, the weather is strange it is very 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 strange lately we're yeah. drowning down here huh we're drowning yeah, down. yeah. yeah. flooding and everything oh. Yeah. Although I, when I would grew up in California, I mean, there was a lot of flooding that went on every year. There was this one street in Larkspur. I'm trying to remember the name of the street, but in Larkspur, that for some reason it dipped down, and then it dipped up, and they had always they had their 24, 30, 365 days out of the year they had a rowboat at the entrance to that street because every year that street would flood. Huh. And I, they never, and I think what what had to do with was the fact that uh, 
this particular part of Marin was lower than sea level. Oh, I know what you're talking yeah, about. Yeah. It's where the where the bridge is. Um, there's, there's an overpass right there, and it's uh, I know what you're talking about. Well, it's right next to I the don't... College of Marin. This is a street yeah, right yeah, yeah, adjacent yeah, yeah. to the College of Marin. Yeah. And every and year place... it used to flood. Yeah. Yeah, and there was a place down by um, by the the turnoff for the for the prison that did that too. The turnoff. Um, and the reason was, it... was exactly the same reason. It's actually below sea level. Yeah, 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 and so when it always flood out, the, and the road would flood too. Uh, Highway one hundred and one well, would flood thing, right it, in that point. Same thing at one hundred and one and seventeen. It sits like uh, underneath an aquifer or something. And it's yeah. like sits on a sponge yeah. and it just seeps through the road. Yeah. Highway one is just now getting opened up tonight down by Watsonville. Wow. It got flooded. It's been flooded closed for the last two days. Well, I think uh, California really has been biblical this year. Yeah. You oh, know, yeah. the only thing you're missing is a plague of frogs. Okay, yeah. and They're I and, and and believe me, that's probably coming next. Leeches, yeah. something like that. Locusts, yeah. locusts. Uh, yeah, yeah. But, um, I don't know. I you know, that, but there's no there's no problem. You know, there's no a friend, problem. A friend there's of mine no... lives near the beach in Aptos, which is near mm -hmm. Santa Cruz. Yep. Yeah. And he walked out in his backyard, and there was a, a water snake that was stranded, you know, and dying. But it, it was determined to be poisonous. So. Yeah. Oh, wonderful. Oh. Well, they caught a big fish right on Main Street in Watsonville. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. It just gets doesn't, crazy. Doesn't get any better, does it? Yeah. So anyway, I you know I've been uh, I uh, I guess you know when something happened like what happened with Shecky last week because it was it was kind of all of a sudden you know it was yeah. it was sudden I mean a lot of us felt he didn't look well lately and that he looked like he was probably ill but we didn't expect something like that you know if we if anything he was going to be sick and be in the hospital for something but not have it come to that. And it makes you then start to really, I mean, I've always, you know, worried about my mortality because at my age, hey, you know, you got to worry about your mortality. Um, uh, Jeff has gone to mortality's doorstep, uh, <laughs> but he managed to peek over and not jump over, you know, and uh, you've had a pretty good life since, you know. I mean, it was not the same before you had a stroke, but certainly yeah. it's been okay. But I just, you know, I, I've started really thinking about the whole mortality thing. And I, the thing I thought most about Shecky, and I don't want to belabor Shecky to everybody, but it is on my mind, and I do have a lot of thoughts on it. This guy, all his life, learned about silent movies and every movie, and, and, and he had a great uh, 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 recall of films and who were in them and... Uh, you know, various processes of, of filmmaking and so on. He was just, and people went to him as a resource, you know, yeah. as a consultant. Um, on the Letterman show, his title was film coordinator. I mean, that, that speaks volumes to what, what he, what his expertise was. And he, re, he did this whole, you know, thing of, of, uh, of, of, uh, of gaining this information and this knowledge, and now he's dead. And what good is it? You know, I mean, what what? It's it's gone. All that information that he yeah, had no up way here. To access it. Yeah, it's gone. And and you begin to say, so was it worth it? You know, I mean, why do I? I mean, I've accumulated a lot of information in my time, lots of which I'm forgetting these days. But uh, you know, but once I'm gone, it doesn't matter. It really doesn't matter. The only thing that lives behind me are some audio files, and that's about it. You know. Yeah, you've chronicled a lot of that on your on your your yeah your, your stuff there. You know, you, that's a good thing about what you've done. You've yeah. got you know your life in the passing lane and stuff like that. Yeah. And then once I drop dead and nobody pays the bill to go, Daddy, that all disappears. Oh no! Yeah, yeah. <laughs> You know, I'm gonna have to start bootlegging it then. Yeah, 
Well, <laughs> you know, I, you know what they did? My wife, my ex-wife Ronnie, when she, she died, before she died, she had a thing called uh, her, uh, uh, it's time, time Goes By yeah, yeah. website. Yeah. And uh, she had been doing that for the longest time. And she told the people at the company that she was, you know, using to process the website, um, you know, that she was dying. And they said, well, okay, we're going to keep your stuff up forever. You know, we'll there just keep it there. Yeah. And I think uh, it wasn't taking up that much space anyway, so it was a good idea, you know. But they said they weren't gonna, they weren't gonna cancel it or do anything. She didn't have to pay another penny, and because they've considered it valuable. Uh, but I, GoDaddy won't say that to me, no. you know. So maybe I have to tell Marjorie what to do with this if if I, if I go those, before her, you know. How about if you post those to YouTube? They'll be there forever. Yeah, yeah, I could post them to you. Well, they, yes, they are posted. All those shows are posted yeah. to YouTube. Who knows if they're going to be there forever? I mean, if no, YouTube... I mean life it, in the Passing Lane. Life in the Passing Lane is... Uh, all those files are on GoDaddy. You know. Yeah, but couldn't you um, start an Alex Bennett channel and then start uploading them to there? Right. Uh, you mean to, yeah, but you, do you know how, how long that would take to put all? Yeah, those I know it would take a long time. Yeah, give me something to do. Yeah, I mean all the all the all the all the audio all the video stuff is on there. Okay, is on YouTube. Yeah. Be there forever, hopefully, unless YouTube goes out of business, in which case I disappear. Okay. Yeah. Uh, um. So that's one aspect of that. The the other aspect is is that. Um, uh, the audio, a lot of the audio that I have on my website, uh, or on, for instance, on, uh, um, what do you call it, on uh, uh, <laughs> Roku, the Roku channels, a lot of that video and stuff, there's a lot of video in there, and a lot of audio interviews and so on, and um, those would disappear because they were all linking to files which are on GoDaddy. And I don't know where I would put this stuff that wouldn't be done away with if I suddenly dropped dead and didn't pay the bill. Okay. So, well, yeah. I, I don't understand. Um, I, I understand that it'll take a long time to move it to YouTube. But you own all that stuff, even though your 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 uh, URL is through GoDaddy. My URL, yeah, well, what, yeah it, that's through GoDaddy. The, but the, you own you own all the all the life in the passing lane, and there's got to be an easier way than posting it one after another on YouTube. Uh, well, there the only way is to have some kind of website where people can go to it and hear it. Uh, you know, and even when I have something like when I I have all those life in the passing lanes on, uh, uh, y you know, available, pretty much on. Let's see here, I have to think of where they are. Uh, For start, start. Uh, maybe, maybe there's somewhere where you can buy a lifetime subscription and just dump them on there and just leave them there. Right. But I don't know if there is a place with a lifetime subscription, and nothing's. I'm sure there is somewhere. Nothing's for a lifetime, because eventually one day that company will go out of business, or yeah, I know what you mean. Or, or the cordyceps will attack our brains, and uh, yeah. and and you know that will all be gone. When we have 25G, it it'll be obsolete. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's, who knows what's forever, you know? Right. And, and I mean, uh, there was a lot of stuff that Shecky had that, quite frankly, once, one, a long time ago, I said we should probably go online and make a site for it. And he said, nah, a lot of people have this stuff. So we never did it. But, you know, a lot of that information that he had, a lot of that studiousness that he had, there was nowhere that that had ever been uh, captured. You know, uh, I mean, he could have written dozens of books, for instance, but he wasn't a writer, you know. And I just figured, hey, you know, maybe we do interviews with him or do something, but, you know. If you, if you type Rick Sheckman Letterman, he's on all these shows on YouTube. Well, not on all of them. Well. Some of them. No, there's bad. there are some there there. Don Giller did a a, a, a compilation of Shecky on Letterman. 
Mm-hmm. And it's one right after the other, him doing Elvis and him doing this and him doing that. And, you know, so, you know, th- that does exist, yeah. But uh, that's not the sum total of what he, that wasn't what he was known for. Personally. Of course, he appears on, yeah, and he appears on some of the Letterman shows and stuff like that, but that's all network owned and it's and all. So that's also comedy and stuff, which is not why he was a, uh, yeah. a resource, you know. Right, right. Uh, and it would be that nice. All side stuff to him. Yeah, it would be nice if if uh, if all that knowledge had somehow mm-hmm. wound up. Uh, well, I love to hear him talk about those old movies and stuff. Yeah, yeah. He knew a lot about it. Anytime you asked him something, he seemed to have the answer. Oh yeah, yeah. But you know, I we didn't do anything with that. It just sat there. Yeah. We you didn't know. know we had to. We thought we had to. Well, but I, you know, I, 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 at my age, I think you all always have to. You know, I think yeah. even uh, what, w- your individual lives should be memorialized somewhere so people can take advantage of the knowledge that you've gained over the years. Mm. You know, I mean, there's a little <clears throat> bit of me out there, but there was nothing of Shecky, to be honest with you, outside of those Letterman yeah, shots. Well, that's, which were, that's the difference. I mean, between you and me, you at least have been on audio, you've been on video. Someone like me or Charlie or someone, yeah. we don't have anything. Well, you have you have those those videotapes you're doing in the high school bands. Yeah, but that's all. I've only got 143 of those, and those not, I'm not even on them. Hey, that's probably a, that's probably kids. 140 more than other people have. Yeah, you but know? those are all the kids. I'm not on any of them. Well, maybe but, one. But, but you're a resource. I'm a resource, but yeah. you know, it's still, it's it's nothing like your, you know, your background, what you've got behind you at least you have that some of it on place in places that will always be there yeah there's people that have recorded you there's people that have posted your stuff all over youtube i mean i there's even this this new i don't know you know about it a facebook page called the quake and you're talked about there all the time yeah yeah i know it's there yeah. Yeah. Every now and, and then I'll post a video up there or something if it's like of of uh, Will Durst or Bobby Slayton yeah, or yeah. whatever. And uh you know, at least you have that. Someone like, you know, one of us, we we don't even have that. Yeah. Yeah. And we could have some kind of background like that as well. And that's the same thing we should Yeah, well, you know, but as I every year that passes for me, I fade. You know? I just kind of disappear. Yeah, but you still have that. Yeah. in your back pocket. I mean, that background. Yeah, there, there's stuff out there. That's recorded and, 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 and documented. Yeah. But, you know, um, I was going to say, I was going to say, yeah, I got a lot of videos out there. They're all being demonetized. But uh, uh, speaking of demonetization, Michelle Channel is still there. Do you want me to just put, <laughs> let me just put my face on screen and answer it and see what happens. Right, you guys will be able to see what happens. Okay, so here we go. All right, now let's let in Michelle and let's see what happens. Yeah, yeah. Who was that? Oh, that's that idiot that called. That that's, that's yeah. Yeah, he, you know he's a moron. And then he, he was goes too slow. Huh? He was too slow. Yeah. Well, uh, remove. Okay. It's like he was getting ready to. Yeah. Well, I don't. Yeah, he did. He do something last time. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Okay. So what he was doing was he went to that thing and then was going to start the video, but he was too slow in getting it yeah. going. Yeah. Okay. Let me go put you guys back on. I got to remember to do this. Oh, Michelle, just go away. <laughs> just go away. Okay. I'll 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 remove you and report you to. Uh, uh, I'll tell you later. Okay. Submit. Okay. There we go. That's so. why you had to use a different name. I think you reported him last time. Yeah, but you know something? They're going to go and look and maybe be able to see who was using that name recently. So, you know, whatever. Anyway, hey, Michelle, they're going to cancel your your uh, your whole Zoom thing. You won't be able to use Zoom anymore now. Boy's life is going to be canceled, too. Yeah, there is, there is a way. There's a way you can do it uh, where you can. Uh, I've been reading up on it where I can kind of reverse the IP address or something like that, oh. and find out who they are. You know, so I yeah, may do that. It's called "Who Am I" or "What Am I." You no, can that's look it up. no, that's different. That's uh, that's just to find out who's a website that somebody has. Yeah. Well, if they have a VPN, that kills everything. Well, that kills everything. 
much. By the way, VPN. A virtual private network. Everybody know what this is? Am I telling yeah. any tales out of school? Private chart. Uh, uh, Tony doesn't know, do you, Tony? Shaggy used to tell me about it, but like he told me you guys had it for like if you went to get like uh, streams or something like that, like Doctor Who. Yeah, yeah, but I didn't ever get that paranoid. I tried. Uh, okay, I have Zoom on a on a PC here, and all of a sudden it stopped working. It would it would not connect to the internet. Okay, and I couldn't figure out why. So what I did is I started up my VPN, and all of a sudden it worked, but at a much lower speed. And then when I tried to stop it, it didn't. I couldn't find the machine on my other networks, so I finally had to get rid of it off of there. So it made it impossible for me to use. And I just find that VPN is dead, god awful slow. Not and, for me. It, Oh, really? Well, it messes up my YouTube TV because it doesn't think I'm in Austin anymore. Oh, right. See? It won't let me sign on. Yeah. So I, you, I, I, I love NordVPN. I have it NordVPN. Works, it works great no. until I want to send an email. It won't send it. No, it does it doesn't work great. And I'll but tell my, you why. Okay. I pay $89 a month for my internet service. And the reason I pay that much is I have a gig up and a gig down. I want that speed. I need that speed. Yeah. Why should I? Every time I use Nord, my up, uh, my up, uh, my download goes to about a hundred. Oh, not mine. And my upload goes to about three hundred. Really? Yeah. Well, how how much service do you have? But, but I have a gig through Comcast. And with the with the VPN on, I get between five and six hundred. I don't get anywhere near that, mm. you know. So I find it useless. I find it totally useless. I can't I use be, it. I wouldn't be happy with that either. Yeah, yeah. Oh. You know, oh, you know what I wish they would let me do on Zoom. Here's what they should do on Zoom. I have somebody mm. like this person. I don't want them calling. Okay, mm. so I I I remove them. I should be able to remove them permanently. Mm -hmm. Right, so they can't call back, you know. Uh, but I mean, it's it's it, it it it's just why somebody does that is so idiotic, you know. But anyway, so I was just you know I was just thinking about life and you know and 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 the, the use of why do why do we gain all this information? I mean, why do we get all this ability? I mean, uh, you take somebody who's a violin virtuoso and he lives his whole life and then he oh. dies. And, and all that skill disappears. It goes away. Or maybe yeah, they get a stroke for... and, and they can't play the violin anymore. Yeah. I mean, and, and you just, it's like uh, Marlon Brando said on his deathbed. So that's what it was all about, you know? No, it's, it really comes, once you're dead, it kind of comes to nothing, you know? Yeah. And, and if you want to feel even worse about it, you're this little speck in the universe. In the eons of time, you were so insignificant, I don't even know if there's any measurement they can have of your existence in the history of mankind. What are you saying, Jeff? Well, the reason we're here at this house is my friends who are asleep now. But that's why he's whispering. Yeah, yeah. that's why I'm whispering. Yeah. But the house was from their parents, and they both died. Mm -hmm. shortly from here. Mm -hmm. And you know, they can't see their parents anymore, but they think about them. They talk to their cousins and their sisters and brothers. So there's still a amount of connection after you die. Okay, so what's my connection after I die? I don't have any kids. I don't have any family left I'll to speak of. Once in a while. What? I'll call you up once in a while. Well, that, no, but I'm saying that so far as family is concerned, I don't have any family. I really don't. Uh, I'm the last Schwarzman on, mm -hmm. uh, on this planet <coughs> with that name, with that specific name spelled that specific way. When I die, I haven't had any kids, so that, that name dies with me, you know? You still got time. Get some kids. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 
Now, where do I get the sperm from? Will you tell me I that? Well, you could you could adopt one. Yeah, I could adopt the adopt sperm. A a no, man. a kid. No, but if I adopt a kid, yeah, the name might pass on. But but it's he's not he's not a a genetic link to my family. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. So so you know that uh, of course that's something I've always had to live with. Is that I I just never had any kids. You know why? Yeah. I I had one I think that was out there, and who knows if he's still alive even? You know, because he'd be. Let's see. I was eighteen at the time, so uh, what? Maybe he'd be. He'd probably be at least sixty. Huh? Probably 60. sixty or something. Yeah. yeah, yeah. He could very well be dead, for all I know. You know, yeah. or he could be Howard Stern. That's right. you know, there's, always that, there's always that possibility, you know. Uh, well, you talk about that, but there were four of us, and none of us have any grandkids. None of our kids wanted to have kids. Wow. <laughs> really? So we're just one generation removed from being gone. <laughs> oh, really? Okay. Well, you know, I mean, I don't think you have to have kids. I, I, I think, actually, I figure I did maybe a little... Did my part in, in keeping society smaller, you know, by just inches, but, you know. And I don't Yeah, know. I'm the only one that had kids in our family. Really? Marjorie didn't have any kids. You know, we're both two, and she was, we were both capable of having children. That's not the point. We just went out of our way to make sure we didn't. You know, I, I never really, I should ask her. I've never really discussed it with her why she never had kids why because you know you have to kind of make a conscientious effort sometimes to have kids but you also have to make a conscientious effort not to have them you know, yeah. you know? and uh i would always ask a woman when i had sex with them uh what are you using for protection and if they didn't use it i slapped it on you know because i because when i had a kid when i was 18 i was so paranoid about that happening again that I was very careful about it, and I kept being careful for too long. And eventually I went almost my, went my whole life without having any other kids. And um, I don't know what Marjorie said was her reason, but she never did it either. So you know, we're two of the most selfish people you've ever met no. living with each other, you know? No, I mean, it's a form of selfishness, you know? People who want to have kids have kids because they want, there's a certain desire to give to somebody else. And uh, a lot of people have kids for selfish reasons. They're going to take care of me when I get old. Yeah, well, yeah. my kids or, are not interested in taking care of me. Yeah. I'm already old. And look who I or picked. talking right right off. Look who I picked for my best friend, a guy who never had any kids. Yeah. You know? Um, and, uh, well, uh, uh, Kevin, you're happy you had kids, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Because I always like kids. Yeah, you always well, of course Santa does. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know? But I mean, uh, you 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 uh, uh, you you've liked having kids, you know. Yeah, absolutely. You really enjoyed it, and I it, there's a part of me that misses having a kid, you know, because at least I have somebody to do the dishes and clean, take out the garbage. You know? <laughs> Good luck with that, my kid. Yeah, yeah. right. <laughs> <laughs> I remember there was a uh, there was a guy. I'm trying to remember his name now. Did a show out of KFI in Los Angeles, and he was the he was every guest on the show. I don't know if anybody knows this guy. Write down here if anybody knows. Write in the chat room or something. I can't remember his name right now. And he played every character on his show. When he'd interview somebody, he was interviewing himself. <laughs> okay. And one of the things he did was a guy who started a new uh, a, a new uh, game show that he was preparing for television, uh, and it was called "Will You Be My Daddy?" And uh, the show was going to have kids who are orphans who come on the show and then explain to people who why they should be their parents. Okay. And it's kind of like a game show. They're trying to find, they're trying to get somebody to be their parents, and you know the the the, in, the uh, people who are trying to adopt are asking them questions like, "Are you good at cleaning house?" <laughs> <You know? laughs> 
And it was very funny. But I mean, I always thought that that'd be, that'd be the reason to have a kid so I can have somebody to clean the house, do the chores. And somebody to carry on your last name. Well, that's a, that's a large weight because I don't know how many times in my life I've had to write the name S C H W A R Z M A N N. N. Because all the time I spent doing that, I probably could have put another 10 years on my life, you know. Yeah. Uh, you know, that's funny because I never even thought about that, carrying on my name. No. Really? I didn't even think about that until probably years after I had kids and thought, oh, they're going to carry on my name. Well, I'll tell and you. And the grandkids yeah. came along and I thought, okay, this is a, yeah, that's right. There's a generational thing. Yeah. I didn't even think about that part of it. Yeah. Because I, because I think about it, and um, uh, with, in my case, the name is such an unusual spelling of that name. In fact, I was driving, I used to take my cat to a place called the, uh, oh, what was it called? The Animal uh, Something Health Center or something like that. It's a big building here in New York. That's the best animal hospital in the world. And people like bring lions and tigers and bears, oh my. To, to them, <laughs> to, you know, to have them fix them up and deal with them. And it's a very exotic hospital. And I used to take my cat there all the time. Uh, they used to go, oh, he's here again. What did he swallow this time? You know, but uh, I, I, it was a great hospital. Well, the other day I'm passing by it. And I swear to you, it has a new name. The Schwarzman Animal Center. Huh. Uh, and I think it was two N's, but I'm not sure. It may have been one N, but it, there was no T in that name, so it was close. But it was the Schwarzman a, a Med a Animal Center. And uh, I just, I, gee, I, I felt good about that. That was terrific. They'll carry on my name, okay? But uh, oh, anyway, you know, so I mean, it's, it's just, uh, I, don't, I don't know. I mean, uh, Wallace isn't a hard name to carry on. And... Uh, yeah, Kevin, your last name isn't a difficult one to carry on, you know. Uh, but it, it's still, it's, it's just, you know. Yes, yes, Jeff. So my wife. Jack asked found some fireworks in his garage, I guess. Uh, okay, mm. anyway. What, my what, wife, what, what her, her last name is not my last name. Because she said there was nobody, her, her last name is Zeller. Yeah, she says there's nobody left in her family with the name Who Zeller. Has name at all? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So she said, "I'm going to be Zeller." I go, "Okay, you're Zeller." Yeah. So the next thing is, we both had a kid together. Mm -hmm. Andrew, I think you met him once. Or twice, yeah, maybe. yeah. And so Andrew's last name is Stein Zeller. Oh, ah. really? Well, Marjorie oh. is still Marjorie Miller. Because yeah. I said to her, w w "Do you want to take? Why don't you want to take my name?" She says, "Who'd want it?" <laughs> <laughs> so now, what happens is the big mistake is she's Marjorie Miller, I'm Bennett Schwarzman, or or Alex Bennett, what have you, whatever you want to say. And she, uh, uh, when we did when we do things, they say, "Oh well, uh, you're you're." You're not married, are you? <laughs> yeah, we are. Oh, okay. And it just confuses everybody. Oh, yes. And I imagine in your case it does too. Jeff. Yeah, but I don't. I, I don't make. I have feeling. nothing against the woman keeping her name. I think yeah. it's especially if it's a good yeah. last name. I think Miller's rather plain, you know. And she could have Schwarzman, which is exotic, but you know that's her choice but she well with, with with jeff's last name that's pretty odd you know who's ever heard of stein <laughs> yeah right. Yeah. such an unusual name i'd hate to be the guy whose name is frank <laughs> n stein you know? don't look at the chat because you'll be kind of disappointed what don't look at the what the chat yeah tom yamaguchi oh. looked up the animal hospital you were talking about yeah only one. One yeah, but when I passed by it, I could have sworn I saw two ends on the on the sign. But I know what you're saying, Tom, because I looked it up too. But that's pretty close. That's pretty close. Yeah. That's about as close as you get to my name. But they changed it to the um, the Schwarzman Animal Medical Center. Um, oh. 
probably. What, you donate a lot of money to them or Yeah, something? I gave them a lot of money and they, yeah, they did that, yeah. Some fur balls too. Yeah. What kind of passport do you use for your name? I use Schwarzman, you know. I I I I don't I never never changed my name legally to Alex Bennett because I wanted the name Schwarzman to survive, mm -hmm. you know, or to at least exist in this world. Yeah. Uh, and and I never saw any reason to do it. And people say, well, how come? How what? What if they make out a check to Alex Bennett and you have to cash it? Well, I just simply endorse it, Alex Bennett, and then I endorse it, Bennett Schwarzman. Yeah. And as long as I'm not doing it to defraud. Yeah. It's okay. It's legal, you know. Yeah. Um, I have an AKA, you know, also known as, uh, sure. you know, but I mean, um, it's never presented a major problem to me. Uh, I can't, I'm trying to think if it ever did, and I, I can't think of a time that yeah. did. <clears throat> Phil Hendry? Is that his name? But yes, Phil Hendry. Tom again. Tom looked it up. Uh, very good. Thank you, Phil. That was the guy who, who used to, the, every guest on his show was Phil Hendry. But it, he was doing different voices, yeah. and it was—it really was an amazing show. And if he weren't a blatant right winger, I'd think he was terrific, you know. But I do base my likes and hates on your pol politics, so get used to it, you know. <laughs> um, but uh, anyway, anyway, we're, uh, elsewhere in the news, you know what I'm getting sick of, and I mentioned this uh, to uh, Steve Kravitz, and you might want to talk about this. Are all these companies that are letting people go? Uh, 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 Meta, mm. which is Facebook with its exotic name. Yeah, I got confused. It's yeah, it. Meta, Meta let go yeah. close to 22,000 people. Ooh, close to 22,000. Uh, uh, Google is letting go, I can't remember how many, like 4,000, something like that. Sirius XM, where I used to work, let go of 8% of their workforce. You know, and, and what makes me mad is, guess guess who's going to go? You, yeah. th you think it's going to be the executives? No. no. Do you think it's going to be the, the, the high-paid talent? No. No, it's going to be the small guy, the little producer making $35,000 a year. You know? And, and those are the people that are the life's blood of a company. No, get rid of the people who are responsible for the fact that your stock has dropped or that you aren't making the money you were making last year. Get rid of the executives. You want to you want to help the bottom line at Meta? Fire uh, what's his name? Zuckerberg. How much is he making every year? What? Well, mo certainly more than the uh, than the twenty two thousand people combined were making. Probably That's for damn yeah. sure. Okay. So, I mean, I think it's just horrible when they go and they fire the bottom line people, but they don't fire the people at the top who are the ones responsible for the failure. Somebody's well, the whole point company. is they couldn't, they're not, not necessarily failing. They just want to make even more money, and somehow firing all these people yeah. makes them make more money and makes their stock well, prices pay, go up. What it is, payrolls, payrolls lower, so income is higher. Yeah, and stock well, price goes up, and then they get a bonus on top of it for price. doing it. Yeah, stock price and the stock price goes up. A lot of times, these decisions are made with big companies when the stock is beaten up, and so they can get a raise in the stock prices. But Sirius's stock is about as low as it's been in ten years, I think. Well, maybe that's why they're letting people go. Well, if that's not going to help it, it's not going to make the company better. You know what they should do? First thing Sirius should do tomorrow. Fire Howard Stern. He gets a lot. Get of rid money. of Howard Stern. He gets he, how much he gets? A hundred oh, million dollars a year. That's I heard you're million. available to fill in for a million a year. Yeah, I could do that. A hundred million dollars a year. Now, maybe wow. a years ago when we were trying to put ourselves on the map, having Howard Stern there was a great idea. But today, is he worth that? I don't think so. I think if you got rid of him tomorrow, you would not lose a hundred million dollars worth of business. You know, and that would be my first suggestion. Why not? He's overpaid for the value he gives the company today. All yeah. right. Also, there's some executives there I could mention who they should get rid of who are totally useless, 
who have created very bad programming over there in which it's all star driven. You know, I don't know how much they're paying Conan O'Brien, but you know, if two networks got rid of him, why should you take him on? Is my question. I would bet Conan O'Brien makes less money than a hundred million. Oh, he made us make a hundred million, but you know, I bet they been do you know they made a deal? Remember you know this guy who's the religious guy on Sunday who we can't stand with the mega church? Oh, oh Ol- uh, uh, Ralph Olstein. Reed or uh, wait, wait, what 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 you Wayne had Joel, the name? Olstein. Joel Olstein. Joel Olstein. Joel Olstein. Joel Olstein. Do you know they're they are paying him and I don't know if I'm remembering the number correctly, but close to fifty million dollars a year to be on Sirius XM. Shouldn't he be paying them? Right. It doesn't make sense. All the stations Joel Osteen's on, he's buying that time. Why is Sirius paying Joel Osteen? Yep. Get rid of that show. You'll save a lot of money. Nope. But don't get rid of the person. Do you know what the, uh, the average income is of a person working at Sirius? Hold on to your seat. $35,000 a year. Oh. And that's for people who, for the most part, have to live in New York City in order to yeah. work that job. Wow. That's why you hear them on several different channels, right? Uh, yes. Yeah. You, you hear these people on different channels. Yeah. So they got to get paid by, you know... You get paid by Octane. You get paid by Lithium. You hear them on the '70s channel. They're they're working three different channels. Well, those are the ones making thirty five thousand dollars a year. Yeah, but they they don't they have to do that three different times to make a decent salary? Um, or do they get no, paid the same? No, they get paid the same. They just get a flat rate for working for Sirius. Huh. Really? Yes. So they work wow. three different channels. They're not working. Yeah. They're not working for thirty thousand for one channel, thirty thousand no. no. for another. No, for another. no, no. Wow. That's ridiculous. No, not at all. How do you Dude, live in New York crazy. City on thirty-five? dollars You couldn't 000. live in New York City on thirty-five thousand a year. Look. You know, and and what's terrible about it is that uh, you know, because um, I hear what's his name Earl Bailey on several different channels. It seems like the guy's never off the air. Right. Well, and how the hell does he make money? Well, to begin with, what you're hearing is what we call, they, they're music shows, right? Yeah. Yeah. Well, he's, yeah, he's, he's probably he's, taped. He's, yeah. he's voice tracking. Yeah, yeah. And all he does is go in and record all the intros and stuff. Between yeah, because I do hear him say the same thing after a few hours. It's the same thing. Yeah. And then he does the, then he does the next, next station, you know. And he can do all, all, all. He can do one whole station probably in one day. Yeah, yeah. You know, without even sweating hard. So, I mean, that's how they save their money. You know, but I'm, all I'm saying is, is that for crying out loud, get rid. Of, you know, what is uh, uh, well, who's that woman who was? Oh God, what was her name? I keep forgetting all these names. But they got one woman over there who's totally useless. That doesn't get them any kind of audience. They're paying her a lot of money. Yeah. And I'm going, why? You know what you sh- what they what Sirius should have done years ago, and I'm only saying I'm only picking on Sirius right now because I work there, right? But the thing that was wrong is they have a program director there who doesn't know jack shit about radio. Okay, he w- happened to be a mo- motion picture executive, and his idea is we got to fill our channels with movie stars and uh, famous people. Well, those famous people are going to cost you a lot of money if you want to have them take time out of their busy lives to do a lousy little radio show for you. And the worth that they bring back to it is minor by comparison. What your job should be is to try and create talent that draws people to the channel. It's going to be much cheaper, and these people are going to eventually create a loyalty among a certain group of people who are never going to leave as long as those people are working there. You know, but don't don't think that because you just got Conan O'Brien, who's already lost two major jobs in his lifetime, that Conan O'Brien is going to bring any more value to you or any more listeners. I don't give a shit about Conan O'Brien. I don't think the rest of you do either. You know, anybody here listen to the Conan O'Brien channel on Sirius? Didn't even know he was there. Yeah, he didn't even know he was there. You know, so. It's, it, it, it's uh, you know, I mean, it's just, 
it's just bad. It's been a bad business practice from 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 the get go, and um, by now the whole nature of doing a satellite delivery system, you really don't have to, just be on the internet. That'll do it. You know, you can get the internet in cars now, right? Yes. You know, so what what do you need? What do you need Sirius XM for? You don't, because it's a satellite up there. That was that was a big special scientific wonder when it first happened but now yeah. 20 years later that's like low tech you know so anyway all i'm saying is you then let go of the small people uh, the the lower end people and that is just ghastly you know that is terrible uh and it no. shouldn't happen yeah, it's been Good. that way for a long time yeah but all these companies are doing that Google's yep. letting people off. Meta's letting people off. Uh, 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 did I say Google? Yeah, yep. yeah. Google's letting people off. Uh, who else? So we got, uh, well, Twitter. <laughs> you know, yeah, that let people off. Is there anybody left there? God. <laughs> well, I don't. I don't know what's happening over there. Yeah, they're down to they're down to bare bones now. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, hey, look, that was his money to spend. Okay. Yeah. You know, and if not, he, if not he, totally, he had investors too. Well, um, he, I don't know that that was money being paid with investors. I think that was money out of his own pocket. Oh, okay. You know, he was worth, remember, he was worth $230 billion, yeah, richest man in the kitchen sink, richest man <laughs> in the and world. He, he could, he could afford to lose $43 billion. And it's just like a uh, you know a little gnat on his nose having to flick it off, you know. I mean, he can afford that kind of loss. I mean, I wish I had that much fuck you money myself. Yeah, you know, it'd be wonderful. This person, Michelle Channel, has kept Come trying. Back. You know, he's still there. He's been there forever. He's sitting there in the waiting room. Doesn't he have a life? Oh, he just hung up. <laughs> <laughs> Michelle, that isn't your name because you're obviously a guy, uh, and you we let you talk on the show once, I think, and you were a complete moron. Okay, uh, why do you want to wait in the waiting room? Uh, didn't didn't the speech earlier I had about your whole life, when it's gone, you have to leave something behind? Well, waiting in our waiting room is not leaving something behind. It's a complete waste of time because I'm not going to let you on this show. I don't understand people, you know. But anyway, yeah, it's all so, kinds. so that was the part of the news that really got to me, was just all these people letting people go, and it's always the wrong people they're letting go, you know. Oh, hey, look, here at Lowe's, we need to make more money, so let's get rid of a lot of the cashiers, Yeah, you know. <laughs> it's not let's get rid of the guys running the company and it's taken into the toilet. Oh, by the way, Michelle, now you signed on as Adam Salmon, and and uh, that 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 doesn't make make any it doesn't play Michelle, with us here. Come up with a better name. Boy, he's one tricky dude, isn't he? Hmm? He's just wasting his time. He's wasting his life doing this. You know, he has no life. Uh, Adam, go out and get a girl to have some sex with or something. Right. You know, well, at least take take up some of your time. Instead of you trying to be a woman and a guy on this show, which is amazing. <laughs> but uh, anything else in the news that, you know, that's uh, been it's a couple of, I see things and then I forget them, promptly forget them, you know, that, that just There's bother me. Going in Texas. What? There's a big issue going in Texas. There's a big issue going on in Texas, what? About, about women who don't want to have a child. Yeah. So there's a pill that you take. Right. Oh, they want to stop it. They want to stop the abortion the, pill. Yeah. The, the morning after pill, I think it was referred to. Yeah. Sometimes it's called an abortion pill. Yeah, they're trying to stop them from doing that too. Uh, oh, that's two different pills. There is an actual pill that will cause an abortion up to 15 weeks or something. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. okay. Mm -hmm. And that's the one they're but trying go to ahead, get rid of. Go Texas. ahead, Texas. Do that, and then just take a look at what's going to happen to your welfare rolls, you yep. know, in the yep. future years. You know, you're doing something terrible, and uh, that, that that's without conscience at all. 
you know. Well, they don't care about the people anyway. They don't give people much welfare anyway. Yeah, it's a terrible, it's a, it's a terrible state, and it's terrible what they're doing. And good people like Charlie live there, and he should be proud of it. You know, and you can't be proud of Texas. No. You know, it's um. And then old. We got a meme on on Facebook that says Texas zero days without being a national embarrassment. Yeah. <laughs> oh, by the way, qu quickly before we go, did anybody watch the Oscars this week? I did a little bit. Short round. I didn't even know one an Oscar. I don't know who the fuck this okay, guy. What? Oh, okay. My sister says, that's the kid from Indiana Jones. I'm like, what? Yeah. I says, I didn't think of that movie. Yeah. And also, said, uh, also, also the Goonies. Movie. He was in the Goonies as well. I, didn't, yeah, I forgot. I didn't Top, know he was Top Gun. Was he in Top Gun? No, no, no. I think somebody said Top Gun won or something. No, like that. no, no. Everywhere, yeah, everything, all fun. at once or whatever. They got sound or something. Yeah, yeah. But, they went but sound. Uh, uh, I thought it was a rather good show. I yeah, thought it, 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 it was it was lean and mean, and it was uh, it it looked good. If if anybody watched it, it was it was a it was class. The class came back to the Oscars. Yeah. Okay. What was interesting is uh, I I don't watch usually any of the movies. I don't know any of the movies, but I happened to go to Netflix the week before. And I decided I was going to watch um, All Quiet, All on, the Quiet on the Western Front, and I had no idea what it was, and I hate subtitle movies, but that movie pulled me in. Wow. I watched film. the whole damn thing. That was the best film last year. And it was a damn good movie. Yeah, that was the best film last year. Uh, of course, uh, you know, it's not, it not considered, uh, uh, didn't win, because you know what happened at one for best foreign film? So they probably people people who were voting just went well. I don't have to vote twice for it, you know, like for yeah. this picture. And I didn't realize all of a sudden I was watching. You know, I was, it was on the background at the house here, and I was walking around. And I kept hearing it, and I heard that music. Dun dun dun. And I'm going, oh Christ, that's going to follow me all over the place for the next. Well, few well here here here's what's really a shame. Um, Ten years from now, everybody's going to still remember what a good picture "All Quiet in the Western Front" was. And they won't even remember everything everywhere all at once. Right. You know, they really won't. Yeah, you yeah. know, it's, it's it a, was it was a good picture. I mean, I I I like I said, I can't go ten minutes or fifteen minutes into a subtitled film, but I watched that whole two hours and twenty five minutes of it. It's good. It's really it's good. good. And I wanted it to win because it would have been a history making win because that would be a picture that won the Academy Award for Best Picture twice. It really, yeah, it, the, won the, it, it, won, what, it won it in 1930. Wasn't the director's name? Was it the director? Was Edward Berger? No, I, <laughs> right, uh, no but, it, but you're, you're, you're close. close. I can't remember who the director was. Well, it was it was one of the one of the creators of it was director yeah, think, Edward Berger. But if if Shecky, but not our but if she, if Shecky was no, it still, wasn't. But that's what was funny about it. If Shecky were still here, he could tell us who the director was. Yeah, it was. Uh, yeah. No, I saw the name Edward Berger. That's what cracked me up. Yeah, but anyway, um, that that's would, right. That would have been an in interesting win, you know. Uh, but yeah, nevertheless, uh, I thought it was a good night, and the people who won, I was happy won. I, I like seeing uh, Michelle Yeoh win because I've been a favorite. Yeah, of, she's been a favorite of mine for years. And what happened? You know, best pick, best actor. Uh, what's his name? Um, Brendan Fraser. Yeah. Brendan Fraser. Brilliant job in that picture, and it's good to see that kind of comeback. And then short round winning, and uh, I know yeah. I couldn't believe my yeah. sister. Shot it up. Yeah, but anyway, <laughs> hey, listen, that's it. We've run out of time here. Thanks to you, Charlie Wallace. Thanks to our good friend uh, uh, Kevin. Thanks to uh, Alan. Thanks to Wayne. Wayne, always nice having you here. Jeff Stein, good having Thanks. you here. And Tony, good having you here. I'd like you to all wave goodbye, and I'll wave goodbye at you. Okay, there they go, ladies and gentlemen. That's our citizen panel for tonight. Okay, and uh, we will be back here again, uh, uh, well, tomorrow night. Same time, right? Same station in life. In the meantime, Jack Bishop is next over most of the same station. Uh, he'll be here on uh, with the intersection. 
And you can call them on Skype at Gabnet Live. In the meantime, as always, I'll see you tomorrow night. Same time, same station in life. And in the meantime, if you see her, tell her I love her, okay? Good night, everybody.